Today, I have here a pair of Allen Edmonds Boulevard wingtip Oxfords that are at a minimum of 36 and could be as many as 55 years old. And as kind of as beat up as they look, I'm gonna see if I can't clean these things up and uh, get them looking to be almost brand new. Hello everybody, it's Robert Powers. Four and a half out of five. My shoe collection. Some stains there. Let's get a nice ladder. Here is the finished product. I'm not a professional. How tight this is though. Old pair of Allen Edmonds torn apart. Look at the glove. And here they are finished up. Um, now, how do I know how old these shoes are? Well, if you've seen, I'll put a link below uh, to another video I've done on dating Allen Edmonds shoes. And here's the uh, interesting part is the logos is one of the easiest ways you can actually tell how old a shoe is. Sorry, off camera there. Um, and based on this logo, uh, it says Allen Edmonds, just the style of script. Um, and then also it's hard to see, uh, I'm trying to get the lighting right. Maybe that's a little bit better there. It says Ostendo cushioned heel. Um, and you can see the shoe name just barely at the front there. It's hard to get it to, there we go. Um, Boulevard, anyway, that's really hard to see in the shadows here. Um, but you can barely see the logo on one of the soles. And these have had new heels put on. Uh, this shoe has been resold and actually I didn't pay that much for them. It was a half off day. So I got them for $4 and plus tax. This line is where they redid the, uh, the sole. So the sole has been replaced. It's called a half sole and they replaced the sole from the midpoint forward. But if you can just barely see it right there, you see that a, and, um, you can barely see right there the E. So this script was used between the years of 1963 and 1982. And I'll cut in another picture of it here from another pair of shoes where it's more obvious. Uh, but basically what it is, is the logo they used between those years had a large capital A, a large capital E, and then the rest of the, um, t you know, the rest of the word Allen Edmonds uh, was in a smaller capitals. Now these particular shoes as well are in really odd size. So they're nine and a half, but triple A. Can you see how narrow they are? So this is a nine and a half triple A. So D is a standard width, okay? D like, uh, you know, D like Delta. Um, so if you go down from D to a C, that's about three sixteenths of an inch narrower. So from a, a C, D to a C is a step narrower. From C to a B is a narrower, B to A, then A to double A, then a double A to triple A. So I'll just compare it. This pair of shoes here is a pair of uh, Allen Edmonds uh, Regent Streets. And these are size eight and a half and a standard width D. So this shoe is going to be, uh, um, this shoe is going to be narrower than a nine and a half D. In other words, this is a smaller size, but look at the proportions on the shoe. Isn't that crazy? These things are way, way narrow. So I believe this is the narrowest size uh, Allen Edmonds makes is a triple A. I believe I could be wrong on that. Um, but the first thing I'm going to do with these is I'm going to take the Renault mat, uh, Sapphire Renault mat, and this is a cleaner leather cleaner conditioner. Um, smells terrible. But this will take everything off of the top of the leather without taking the color off the leather. And what you can see is, like here, the polish is just years and years of old polish. You look at that, it's just flaking off. So that all needs to come off. The leather itself, though, if you look at the leather itself, I don't think there's any cracking on the leather. I think it's just a polish. So I think the leather itself is in really good condition. And I think these are really clean up nicely. You know, like I said, they just kind of look terrible because of the condition of all the polish. The leather still feels soft and supple even after, you know, a minimum of 36 years. Um, the resole was a decent job. Looks like maybe they could have cut the groove in a little deeper so you can see here where the threads are worn through. But there's still a good amount of life left on these heel uh, soles and no reason to redo them at this point, right? And they've had new heels put on them, which obviously after, you know, 30 some years is not surprising. So um, I'll get started and we'll get these cleaned up. Okay, and here goes the sapphire rental mat. You gotta shake this stuff up. And take an old, dirty, you're gonna, I'm using an old filthy rag because, you know, it's gonna be taking off polish. Just take a little bit. And start, start uh, scrubbing. Firm pressure. Hmm. I don't know if there's clear polish on here or it's just not really coming off. I'm gonna keep scrubbing.
so the left shoe here the one on your right has been completely stripped down i think um i'm not sure if there's more on there i'm gonna try a little more but it's more uniform color you can see all that uh the gloss is gone but so is that scratchy flaky look Next, uh, saddle soap. I'm going to go take the lid, uh, warm it up, fill it with warm water. A little bit too much there. Just going to get a nice lather. And just scrub vigorously. Get down in the welt. I've done an entire another video on saddle soap. I'll link it below. Saddle soap doesn't just clean the leather, but it also conditions it and it also moisturizes it. Like I said, you're scrubbing, you can scrub really hard. About as hard as the brush will allow. Take a you know fairly clean cloth. Just wipe it off. Now this being a full brogue, obviously it's got tons of broguing. And as you can see, the welt, the broguing, the saddle soap kind of sticks in it. Uh, but I will get that out with another brush. Right, next stage I'm going to moisturize them uh, even more here with uh, Kiwi Leather Lotion, okay? moisturized um, now I'm going to uh, polish them and I think for these um, I think I'm gonna go ahead and use the mahogany um, it's got a reddish tint to it but I think it'll be all right I don't have a brown brown in the feebings
So now the uh, mahogany, the uh, Seth here has gotten a chance to set up a little bit. Just gonna brush them off, brush them off. The nice uh, horse hair brush, right? This is where the shine will first start to develop. Like I said, I did use mahogany, even though these are a brown shoe. The shoe polish doesn't color the shoe, it just puts a slight tint on it, so I knew it was close enough. It wasn't gonna like change the color or anything. This stuff smells wonderful. It smells like pine. going to build up progressive layers of clear just on the toe cap and I'm going to avoid um, I'm going to stop where the shoe flexes first coat you can build up pretty thick that's all that needs
Okay, what I'm going to do next, they look pretty good. Uh, I'm going to take them to uh, outside of my garage. Um, I'm not going to video this part. And I don't know if you can see, but to me, it looks like the edges of the soles are um, like a little bit, I'll describe it as a little bit mushroomed, I guess. Um, what I mean by that is they're kind of mushed out a little bit. So I'm going to take that and I'm going to, I'm going to square them up a little bit. Um, and when the heels were done, you know, that's a little bit ugly there. So I'm just going to sand that down and then I'll come back and color it. So um, I'm going to go out to the garage and do that and I'll be right back. And here they are finished up. Now I will admit um, I do need to improve my skills in the area of edge finishing. Was it worth it? So you can see I sanded that down, mainly just the bottom. I tried not to really sand the welt too much. And then I restained it and um, this is medium brown. I used medium brown anywhere where I hit the welt, that darker part. Then I used Phoebing's tan um, on the sole itself. So can you tell it's two-tone? I don't know if the effect really came out as nice as I you know, imagined it would. And here's something else I found out. The heel base. So this is the top, top lift. This is the heel base. The heel base, I believe, from Allen Edmonds, it's always stacked leather. I believe this is like a composite material that a cobbler replaced it with. So I didn't get that, that green color I was looking for, so. But not bad. So like I said, I'm an amateur. Learning, that's something that I'm gonna keep improving my skills on, All right? So there they are finished up and I will cut in here a video of how they looked before, again. So I hope you enjoyed that. I've got a lot of other videos, um, other before and afters like this, uh, shoe construction, leather quality, uh, tour of Horween Leather Company in Chicago. <laughs>